Hello, welcome to the channel. Women on dating websites are the happiest women in the world, if what they write in their profiles is to be believed. They often state they're happy as a person, it's just in their nature. Yet many of these women are single, lonely, overweight, and in their mid-thirties. I'm not saying that they shouldn't be happy. But many of these women, it just it just comes across as fake. I just don't believe them when they, they say they're so happy. And especially when I meet these women in person, they just smile too much and they're just a bit too bouncy and it, it's really creepy. So I've been wondering what's going on here. So when I've questioned these supposedly happy women, I've found a great many reasons for them not to be happy. A string of messed up relationships with violent, exploitative and abusive men. Spending all of their earnings on clothes, makeup and traveling to the point when they're 35 and have no savings at all. Basically, they're over the hill with no relationship experience with decent men, only sex-obsessed creepers, no money, no kids, and a rapidly shrinking friendship circle. I point this out to them, not because I'm trying to be a jerk, just to show that I'm listening to what they're telling me and that I understand what they're going through. But each time I do this, two patterns tend to emerge. The first pattern is that they just keep smiling and laughing when they should be crying and bawling their eyes out. Which is off-putting. I, I just cancel my plans for the second date there and then. There's something weird about them. They're broken. The second pattern I see is that they get angry and start shouting, threatening me, telling me that I'm making them feel miserable about themselves. Both of these reactions are creepy and just red flags. Just, it's over. So what's wrong with these women? For years I couldn't figure out what it was, but I remember as a teenager reading this book called Brave New World, in this book, people didn't work through their feelings and their moods. They simply took drugs and had crazy amounts of sex to numb their emotions. If you decide to sit with your bad emotions and think about them, you are considered a social pariah. It occurred to me all these happy women are actually drug addicts. So I did a bit of googling to see what I could find. I was right. Women are a bunch of drug addicts. Antidepressants are no different to illegal drugs like heroin, cocaine, or meth. I'll, I'll link to a good video about this topic. Politicians are bought off by pharmaceutical companies to subsidize and push prescription drug addiction onto the population. This isn't a far-fetched idea. The British Empire was built on drugs. Tea, coffee, tobacco, opium. If the government was heavily involved in the drug trade in the colonial era, it's not far-fetched to say they're heavily involved in it today. The war on drugs is merely the government attempting to assert monopoly control over the drug market. The government benefits from pushing antidepressants onto the population because they stifle emotional and intellectual development. Emotionally numb people don't mature into sensitive, thoughtful and responsible adults. They remain children for life. The government want people to never grow up. Children are materialistic and obsessed with buying things as they haven't learnt to limit their desires. Having a population of mindless consumers is good for business. Now apparently 23% of women in their 40s and 50s take antidepressants, a higher percentage than any other group. Oh, I wonder why. Could it be that feminism told them that they should be seeking a career, not family? And they should put off having kids until they're like 35. And, and then when they get to 35, they find that no decent man wants to actually date them anymore. So they don't have a kid. Well, having children is a big part of a woman's life. And a woman who doesn't have kids, she's just miserable. And so I'm not surprised that these women over in their 40s and 50s are taking antidepressants. Because they're over the hill. They're lonely. They've got no one. They've got no family. Life is just falling apart from them. What can they do? I, the idea that women shouldn't have children is absolutely appalling. Women are made for children to have children, and they're happiest with them. So my advice on how to fix this problem, it goes a little bit like this. Dear women, get the fuck off the drugs. Deal with your emotions like an adult and grow up. And sometimes you need to feel sad. Sometimes you need 
to feel miserable. These emotions are there for a reason. Don't bury them. Don't screw them up with drugs and sex. Think about them, reflect, grow up and mature. Become a better person. Become a feeling person. Or die lonely, heartbroken and childless. It's your choice. Thank you for listening.